Welcome back. In this chapter, we will talk about performance tuning. In the previous chapter, I was sending one user at a time to the database. But what if we can send multiple ones at a time? Well, that's what we will experiment. I have a package called buffering object stream. It does what I'm looking for. Here it is. It simply collects a number of objects and send them through as an array. In this example, it took 10 objects and returned the three arrays. The first one contained four elements. The second one contains four elements. And the third one contained the rest of the 10, which is the two elements that left. So I will import it in my program object stream from require stream I will make sure to uh, to install it it's not installed yet here an odd buffering object stream that's nice and now I will put it in my pipeline right and for me I will try with with 10 at a time right so the users will be a bit different. The actual one saves only one user. What I will do, I will create a promise or uh, an array of promises. And since I'm using an array of users, so I will do a map. And for each user, I will have a promise, right? And I will await for all the prime promises to be executed, right? So I'll now I will be sending 10 users at a time. But before that, I will back a bit in, in time and I will recreate the uh, create user. Uh, I will remove the map and leave only create user and then we'll remove the promises. Yes, that's great. And for the name, it should be save user, right? So uh, I need to measure the performance of save user. Uh, the one that saves one by one and also the the one that saves multiple one right so i will be removing the save users i will create the database first and get back to my code to clean it up right i will remove everything count i have zero documents right um i will measure the uh, performance by time by using time Uh, I need to comment that out. I will remove that from the pipeline and I will remove and I will keep only save user, the one that saves only one by one. Right. Let's try that and let's Unix uh, measure the performance on, of one by one. It seems like it is hanging for a reason. I won't spend any time to see what is wrong. I will simply add a process.exit to exit the program at the end of the stream. Just like this. Now I'm sure that everything is, is saved. 30 seconds, it's so much. I will try it once again. But before that, I will delete all the documents that I have. Well, the delete many is, my, is way better, so I will use delete many right so i guess everything is fine i will measure the time Right, so it took 40 second point nine to insert 10,000 documents, which is right. Now I will compare it to save documents, the one that will 
save for me 10, 10 users by 10 right i have sent uh, 10,000 which is good now i will delete them all to start from scratch okay so i'm having zero documents that's right uh buffering 10 and save users i guess everything is good i will try it one more time right and that was better that was way better so it took four second point four right i will try to play a bit with the uh, buffering object stream i will ask it to send a hundred by hundred right i will delete all the documents once again and start from scratch let's try that okay uh, a bit better yeah i will try with 200 I don't think it um, my container can handle it, but let's see. Okay, so uh, as expected, yeah, I will try anyway with with three hundred just to see. Okay, so as expected, well, I can say that 100 was 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 great. It took three seconds, point six, which is for me, it's it's great. It's four times better in in performance, right? Uh, now I'll try another uh, another solution, which is bulk, um, because now we are sending a uh, hundred uh, requests to the database. Uh, I guess bulk writes uh, gonna be much better because like bulk operation are generally faster than individual inserts. Instead of sending multiple requests to the database, I will be sending only one. Uh, I guess I forgot how to write the bulk write okay i forgot about map as well um, my apologies i need a map on users and i will return insert one document and they will give it the user right i will comment that out uh, i will remove it i will remove it right and i guess we are all set i will delete uh, all the records that i had and start from scratch okay let's try and boom only one second point 42 which is great which is really great i will try with 200 i don't expect to see much of an impact but let's try it okay a bit better i will try with 300 okay still good what about 400 400 yep okay okay 121 okay uh 500 yeah yeah well, well as expected the bulk are generally faster than individual insets well here is the recap about what we have done the result of 10,000 lines uh when we sent line by line uh the program took 42.9 when we sent 10 at a time, the program took 4 seconds 32. Uh, when we sent 100 line by, li by 100, the program took only 3 seconds 58. And with the bulk, we, uh, we, we inserted 10,000 users in only 1 second 22, which is really, really great. Well, I hope you liked it as a whole. 
I know that there is a lot of misconceptions about streams, so this is why I've decided to um, to show you um, multiple use cases of streams and how we can tune the performance. There's other ways also, uh, as well to, uh, on how to tune the performance. Um, I don't know if I have time to share them all, but but yeah, this one is was was good. I used it personally in my in my personal projects and professional ones as well. Uh, there's other technique, as I said, but yeah, I will find some time to share them all. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe in my channel, and see you in the next one.